All right. What up? It is your boy here. Well, I heard it too. And today I want to do a little bit something different. I decided to create a new series. Let's see how this will work. So this series I want to do is funny Reddit stories. And who doesn't like a good laugh? So search online. Reddit, see if there's any good stories, and I'm hearing this the, for the first time as you are as well. So, I will leave the original description of the Reddit stories down below. So, if you guys want to check it out, feel free. No one's stopping you, I hope. <laughs> so, uh, I checked on Reddit, and uh, th th there's a lot of short stories, so I'll be going through these quite a bit. Alright, don't mind the gameplay. You'll be seeing me dying a lot because this is master difficulty and I want to have a little bit of challenge too as well. So, Alright, so let's get started. So, <laughs> so high school junior year, first day of class, teacher walks in, is an old, <laughs> older wrinkly guy with a stash. Wow, <laughs> this person <laughs> really remembers the person's face structure, wrinkly with a stash, perfect. A little weird looking. His shirt is only tucked in, in one side. Everyone is just getting the wrong vibe for this guy. Like, he's not all there in the head. He got a manic look in his eyes. He's creepy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he's just going through the attendance, not looking up the whole time. Then he gets to my name. He starts to say it, then stops. Looks up, scans the room, looks directly at me. Ah, Mr. 10 I'm glad you're here. How's your family? Is your little sister still playing the piano? Is that model ship still in your dresser? Is your room still blue? Well, that's creepy. What the heck? What the heck? That is really creepy. I'm shocked and mortified. I can't find the words to respond. This creeper has described my family and the flipping room I sleep at night. Ah, of course it is. It's only been a week? Then he goes back to a tent. Panics were had that day. What the heck? They, they can see through you! But anyway, the next day I find out the old crazy guy is my uncle's best friend! Oh! <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> my dad decided to pull a prank on me for my first day. Oh, wow. The teacher was so crazy looking at the rest of the year. He shit his pedal stash who was grew specifically for the prank, apparently. Dress better, stop making eye, his eye twitch. Oh, wow. I have to admit, it was a good prank. Wow, that's crazy. Dude, that's a cool parent right there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That is really good dedication right there. Alright, so. Um, after having close time as an adult, I'll just say that. The fourth girl of my young life at the time, I decided to get an STD check. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not for physical reasons. Mostly for emotional reassurance. Okay. Okay, I see where you're coming from. Okay. Interesting. But like, the thing is, like, would you just not want to, like, get it, like, just talk first to the person, then get the check done? You know what I mean? Like, you don't, there's no need of getting the check. Unless, actually, the person kind of devious. Okay, I mean, that's true. The be better safe than sorry, though, you know? Better safe than sorry. Anyways, I called my neighbor across the street, who's three years older than me, basically my big brother, and told him that I made an appointment to get checked, and I asked him um, what is entailed. He said it wasn't too bad. They did a sperm sample, swap his... his... whoa. Checked his blood, etc, etc. That's what they do? This is weird. Anyways. So I felt pretty prepared going in there a few days later. On my way to the clinic, I was feeling pretty nervous. And <laughs> I was feeling, I was, I was feeling pretty nervous to ejaculate in the cup, but I reassured myself it was going to be fine, bro. Oh, going that going, <laughs> going to set off a load in the public place. Weird man, this is crazy. That's what, that must be so difficult. 
Because if you gotta do that, you need to be in a room like, oh gosh. And this is a, a clinic that does, you know, check. So like, imagine how many people are there a, a day in the same room. It could have like spilled. Oh, oh my gosh. That is honestly crazy. When I finally got there, an old lady called my name and handed me a clear cup and escorted me to the restroom and said, please go in here. I was picturing more of a comfortable room where I can do my private thing of choking my chicken, but I thought, F it, the bathroom will suffice. Wait, really? You go to the bathroom? Yeah, I, I thought as well you must go to like a comfortable room, you know? No, but I guess like, hey, whatever, you know, you guys can do it easy. I remember looking around for some pornographic material because my neighbor said they provide you with some of their, but there was nothing. <laughs> oh gosh. I remember what the f not. This place just to expect us to use our imagination? Disappointed. I said, oh well, not like I haven't used my imagination before. So I began, yes. Stroking my chicken over the sink. Over the sink? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, I remember amazingly rubbing one out for the pretty, pretty effing fast. Almost too fast. So I thought I'd wait in there for additional 10 minutes because I didn't want to her to think that I was some type of freak. <laughs> After waiting in there for what felt like an eternity, I finally had my, ooh, my semen f cup back to the old lady nurse who acted impatient, upset that took so long. Wow. So she wanted the, the, uh, the guy to actually finish quick. Wow. I began following her down the hallway. The woman set the cup on this desk table thingy, looked at it, and then picked it back up, picked it up again, and she jiggled the cup a little bit. She stopped. I held my breath as I looked at her face as I saw it turn from confusion to sheer horror. Uh oh. She turned. She turns to me and goes, "Um, sir, we only need your urine." Whoa! Oh! <laughs> oh no! Oh! Oh shoot! I will never forget the feeling that I had at the very moment my face got red. I'm really good. <laughs> I felt immediately hot. My legs felt weak. I just want to get the f out of there. There have been so many embarrassing moments in my life, but luckily I can think pretty quickly on my feet, so I can dig my way out of the most uncomfortable situations. Yep, that's me. As for this moment, there was no effing shovel in the side for me to dig dig myself out of. Nothing to say, nothing to do. I stood there ter terrified. I just, just, I think, you're in sample. <laughs> and now this poor elderly woman who has probably months away from retirement, <laughs> who is now horrified and confused, and now she was gripping a hot cup of potential babies. I'm guessing the clinic never changed for the situation like this. I, yeah. Now, that, like, in the future reference for getting hired, you can be like, you know what? Um, there is a new module for handling, you know, uh, semen. <sighs> Even she made a joke to enlighten the mood, it would have been better. It would have killed the tension in the room, and since she made it stoic, I felt awkward and scared. I felt like a monster. After going back to take, uh, the number one, a few tests later, I got the F out of there. After much reflection through, I can think that she deserved it. Because honestly, yes, I did assume that she wanted sperm. Oh, you assume! You don't assume. Come on, man. Yes, I did assume that she wanted a sperm cell, but the woman never specified what she wanted. Therefore, she assumed that I, I knew too. And we both and we both were people assuming chats that one of them is going to get the cup full of other ones. Jizz. That's just the way it is. Gosh, I still cringe just thinking about that day. Sometimes when looking at myself in the mirror, I randomly think of that old woman's face. <laughs> I feel like she's holding a cup full of my hot soldiers. And I just want to bust out laughing and shake my head. Good times. <sighs> wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. That is very embarrassing. Let's go for this one. This user name is deleted, so that sucks. Oh, but his, his post is still here. 
I had a flock of chickens and something kept getting at them during the night. It would only take one bird, no remain. So I assumed it was a fox. But I finally went on vacation so I decided to stay up in the barn for the night to see if I would cast what was getting them. That night, every chicken roosted for the evening in the bushes around our house. It was as if they knew I was going to catch the thing, so they helped me out by letting me sleep in the house. I lay out on the porch in a sleeping bag with an old lady blue plate nightgown and a mag light in my hand. About 1 a.m. I hear a squawking sound. I jump out with a flashlight, run outside, and see something smallish with a head in its mouth. It runs up to the tree line, and I follow it, cursing the whole way. It drops the head, which is dead. Ooh. At that point, flash the light to the trees, and I see a youngish raccoon. Ah, I hate raccoons. I pick up the chicken, start shaking the head at the raccoon, still cursing. Wait, <laughs> wait, what? Is shaking at the raccoon? What the heck? I think you're more like teasing the raccoon, oh, uh, to the raccoon. So then I look, I'm going to shoot this bastard right here, right now. So I run back to the house, still holding the chicken in the flashlight, and look for a gun. The only thing I can find which is a, is a semi-automatic paintball gun. I set the chicken on the counter, grab the gun, and run back outside. After I find the raccoon with the flashlight still hiding up in the up in the tree, I drop the light and, and open fire, spying the whole tree, raccoon, and all, with hot pink paintballs, and I scream, TAKE THAT YOU DAMN MOTHER TRUCKER! He didn't say that. That I'll teach you to eat my mother trucking chickens! Yeah, that's, I'm just trying to like improvise with the, what I think he was trying to say. Mind you, it is 1am. I have neighbors. That's so, like, embarrassing. Can you imagine just sleeping? You wake up hearing that? Oh my god, I'll be, I'll be just scared. My rage is finally quealed. I put down the gun and pick up the flashlight. All I can see the tree are pink branches, no recruit in sight. So I get a rocking chair, set on, out in the driveway, and sit watch. At some point, one of these hands starts slipping out on a trash can lid she was perched on. I picked her up, put her on my lap. I stayed that way. What the hell? Sitting in my rocking chair in a blue plate nightgown in my driveway with a paintball gun and a mag light. <laughs> a, chen, a, a hen on my lap for the rest of the night. That motherfucker never came back. Oh my god. That's a story you can tell to your children. Oh wow. What? Um, that's it. I think that's it, guys. There's a couple of stories over there. Um... You know, I like doing this, and I'll keep doing it if you guys like it. Just tell me down in the comments what other stories you guys want me to read on Reddit or generally. And if you do like it, just uh, hit that like button and why not subscribe, you know? I'm doing all the crazy stuff, and if you guys have any ideas for me that you guys want me to do, let me know. Anyways, guys, you guys take care, and I'll see you y'all later.